new wine skins. This is why I don't don't like the prosperity movement, and I differ from most of of what's coming forth. There many there's a lot of criticism today with the prosperity teaching, but I come forth very differently from what what is coming forth. I come with revelation from God, and indeed the prosperity movement is the old wineskins. God is going to be using new wineskins in the time ahead. He wants to bring forth the final outpouring of his spirit before he comes back and he's going to be bringing this from new wineskins, not old wineskins. And I too was once, this was about 30 years ago, a follower of Kenneth Copeland and of the prosperity movement. And at that point, I, I came to the, the realization that I was actually a backslider, a backslidden Christian. And God took me that time into the wilderness. And I've been there for many, many years. And he needed that time to, to take out all that all that has been taught from what's coming forth from the church and for him to teach and to reveal and to bring forth his truth and his revelation for the end time for what he wants to do and there's been a, a, a truly a, a work that's been done but it's not with people coming forth today that who you see and who's being invited often on television uh, these are people with old wineskins not with the new wineskins and this is very important because if you want to flow with God and what he's doing in these end times, you need to get the people that have got the, the new wineskins onto your television. These are the people that are going to bring, bring in the new wine. It may not be comfortable, you may not like it, but if you're faithful and you want to really follow what God wants in these times, is that what you will do? We will focus on those with the, the new wineskins. And there's much to do with this, there's much depth with this. It's not that we don't, it's not that we're opposed to prosperity, uh, it's, not, it's not that at all. It's more to do with a, a foundation. There's a historic foundation. Uh, there's a there's, there's a different uh, foundations. If, if you go back in church history, God has been restoring truth since the time of the Reformation. And we need to keep the, the born again experience, being born again, knowing him. This, this came forth really with, with uh, Martin Luther. And we need to keep that and build on to that. And it's the same if we go further on with the historic foundation. This is of the foundation of the historic churches. We need to keep that foundation and to build onto it. And that is why I have a problem especially with the prosperity teaching. It is not... Uh, what, what they've done here is they've, they've thrown out the historic foundation. A lot of what's coming forth contradicts the, f the historic foundation. And the very fact of restoration, you need to keep the old, the historic foundation and build onto it. And that is what you don't understand. And this is very, very important because the historic foundation is very much with knowing Jesus Christ and knowing him deeply. Today, often we can pay lip service to knowing Jesus Christ. But you need to have this foundation to know him deeply. And this is the call of Revelation 3.20. It's a call to know Jesus Christ and to experience the depths of Jesus Christ. And that is why I have a problem with the prosperity movement. And even with identifying and even rebranding the television network with that is because it shows that there's very little discernment, actually no discernment with this. Uh, that the truth, what God's been revealing, it's clearly, it's not, 
is not coming forth at all from the network at this point. And there's a passage in the book of Philippians. Let me just go to that here. I'm just going to minimize this. And there's the highlighter. And this is in Philippians chapter 1. And this is Apostle Paul. He says, And this I pray, that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment, that you may approve the things that are excellent, and that you may be sincere and without offense till the day of Christ, being filled with the fruits of righteousness, which are by Christ Jesus, by Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. And yet we see um, discernment. Let me highlight that in yellow yeah, and all discernment let me see if it's I'm not sure if it's highlighting properly okay but anyway I let me just continue It's, yeah, it's, uh, basically the, uh, Paul is uh, praying that that you will increase in discernment, that you will approve the things that are excellent. And in these last days, there's much deception. And we need more and more discernment to approve those things that are excellent. In other words, we need to approve the gospel and what's coming forth, which is excellent. And this is... Uh, so that we will be filled with the fruits of righteousness, that we will have the character and the traits that he wants. We will be poor in spirit, we will have meekness, we will have the beatitudes will be true in our lives. And why I'm mentioning the fruit as, as being the beatitudes is uh, that the beatitudes is essential, it's the beginning of of a passage known as the Sermon on the Mount. This was the focus of the historical foundation. People in the past, such as John Wesley, they sometimes preached 70-80% of what they, what they brought forth was from the Sermon on the Mount. This was the focus of the historical church. But there's, there's, much, there's much with this. And what I'm just bringing forth is the importance of of discernment in these times and that we need to rightly discern so that that we will have the right foundation and basically what I'm saying is that every person in the Pentecostal charismatic movement needs to have a historic foundation the historic foundation must be there for every single Pentecostal, any, every charismatic. I, I come from the charismatic background myself. But I need to emphasize and highlight the importance of this. This not only unites the church in truth, but it, it brings forth, it will start bringing forth actually what God wants and it will actually allow his, the outpouring of his spirit in, in what's to come. And this is it's very, very important that you actually grasp this and that you have the, the correct discernment with what's coming forth. Because if you just go with the prosperity movement and a lot of what's coming forth, you actually have very bad discernment. You're not discerning at all with what God is doing in, these, in this last time, in this last hour before he returns. So I'm just bringing forth a little more to so that you'll understand that I don't have a superficial understanding of the prosperity movement that that if you preach prosperity it's bad blah 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 it's not all about wealth even though I think many of the people out there especially that are not even believers they they feel that it's very similar to the time of the Catholic Church at the time of the Reformation with Martin Luther the common people are not happy with what's going on. They, they feel that there is a problem with the prosperity movement and that, that, that there is a problem with that too. I'm not denying that. But my focus on the, what I'm bringing forth is not on that, but it's more of what's not coming forth. 
and the discernment and the change that has to take place and it's about a complete it's it's bringing forth something that's so glorious and so wonderful and a solidness and a soundness to the people of God to the body of Christ and it's more that that's not coming forth today that's the real problem and when the truth really starts coming forth then you're going to find that the the final move of God coming forth it would be wonderful to see a, that coming forth from a television network that a network would be open to this and to, to allow these people that God has, has called to come forth and to and to bring forth this and that the reformation and the change and the revival would actually come forth from uh, a television network that that is really what God would like to would like to come about but there's there's also the other side that that say if a television network were to to f be offended and to resist something like it and not be open to that uh, they could actually be r really bringing forth the 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 worst the Laodicea the lukewarmness they could actually be on the the wrong side of what God is doing in these last days, and bringing forth a gospel that's that's really very very dangerous, and very deceptive to the people of God, and we will all give an account to Him one day when we stand at the beamer at the judgment seat of Christ for the way we've handled the network, a network with such authority that God has given that can reach so many people. That we are accountable to to bring forth his truth in the in, in this time, and I just want to bring this across that you understand where I'm coming from, and to clarify a previous video which I posted on why I had some uh, had some mixed feelings with the rebranding and what's happening and I also feel that that God not only wants to rebrand this television network he wants to reform it and there's going to have to be um, new wineskins to bring this reformation in and these people too that I'm speaking of are not they're not good with television they do not know that that they, they are just here to bring the truth of God and to bring his word and to bring the reformation but the actual the vehicle the television and the, the administration and the whole thing that 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 is not their calling that's got nothing to do with them and that is needed that the vehicle has to be there just as the days when when Jesus came uh, the roads had to be there for Apostle Paul the roads and all that the, the, the empire had to, the Roman Empire had to be there certain things had to be there and so today that's the the network that that is one of the things for the gospel for this end time move of God it's it is there but it's, it's very important that you one has to respond and really respond properly to God here yeah. otherwise you can make a, a bad decision and once really at the crossroads here once well moving from TBN even though maybe it's only a branding that's changing but once really at the crossroads is whether one's really going to move with God or not in these last days and it's a very important time I believe for that, that God has for this network and the direction that they're going to take will, will determine everything will be determined by that this is Apostle Derek signing off God bless